I will say that you are welcome. We have done our inauguration meeting. We received your letter, both from you and that of the minister, congratulating us for this uh, appointment they have just given to us. I pray my special to the Almighty God. God will be with all of us. Well. And today is a day where we are meeting for the first time. After all, in camera, discussing issue, national interest. Because this is about national interest, not about anybody's interest. I might have listened attentively to various members of this committee. We discovered that we have Bayesa, Lagos, this and that. Those are slow states. And we know you're one of your responsibilities under the urban and regional planning is to plan well for slum. So I want you to keep that. So by the time we are coming to review so many number of things, we now discuss issues. And for today, we want to go to 2019 budget appraisal. How far have you gone? Members, you have all received it, and you have gone to any observation. Just keep it, when the time they will give us the case. You are welcome, sir. <coughs> I will try my best. <coughs> So overview of the 2019 appropriation, the sum of 83,761,180,646 was appropriated to the housing sector of the ministry in uh, 2019 fiscal year. Uh, let me state here that this is a department from the housing sector. Uh, yesterday, uh, we were here uh, to defend the uh, housing sector budget, which includes this one. So this is, uh, we are going to extract out from the uh, housing sector, since this is a department. And in the housing sector, we have uh, the urban and regional, we have the public building, we have the lands uh, departments. So, pardon? And uh, engineering services four departments. So this budget uh, appropriation is for the four uh, departments of the housing sector. Out of this amount, uh, two uh, billion three hundred and seventy uh, six million four hundred and thirty one uh, is for capital projects of uh, the urban and regional uh, development uh, department. The different projects and their status under the 2019 capital allocation are equally detailed in, the, uh, in this annex, uh, annex, uh, annex 1. Also in 2019, the housing sector together with the urban and regional development department got 118 uh, million uh, eight hundred and eighty one one eighty two thousand point ninety nine as overhead allocations in, in the appropriation act. I am reading from a submission which I suppose you all have it if I can confirm from you. Yeah. So uh, so the breakdowns are here. Uh, like I said, eighty three uh, billion uh, three point seven for the entire housing. Uh, sector, out of which uh, 2.3 billion is for uh, this department, urban and regional department. Uh, you can see in Annex 2 is also the details of uh, conference, uh, training, meetings, home and abroad in the 2019 capital allocation of the department, which amounts to 197 million uh, 667. Uh, 1,565. The personnel cost of the ministry inclusive of the urban and regional uh, development department is being implemented through the integrated payroll and personnel information system, IPPIS, program under the Accountant General of the Federation. Uh, budget credit endeavors to look at the bullet uh, point enumerated here. 
and I, I want to really, really apologize for some discrepancies I, I realized just here when we arrived here. The, 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 the capital releases for the uh, urban and regional planning out of the 2.3 billion uh, is 562, 300. And 59 point, uh, 181.37. Um, the entire housing was 19 at 21, 293.93. Capital disbursement, that's the where I'm apologizing. I want to uh, come back with the correct figure, if, uh, and I really, really apologize for that mistake. So uh, we have just uh, discussed with the accounting officer and uh, we realize we need to recheck this figure and we'll get back to you in So the overhead, but the, the release still remain the same, only the, the disbursement that we want to recheck and get back to you. You may wish to note that the sum of 39 Point six only was released to the housing sector, including urban and regional development department, in respect of overhead costs from January 2019 to date, which represent 33.3 percent of the sum of 118.8 million appropriated for the housing sector as overhead in 2019 Appropriation Act. It may further be noted that urban and regional development. Uh, departments overhead expenditure for stationary general maintenance and orders are inclusive of the housing sector overhead expenditure. See summary of release attached in the Annex 4. Revenue generated. The sum of 1 billion, 1 point, uh, approximately 1.6 billion was generated as internally generated revenue from January to September 2019 by the housing sector inclusive of the urban and regional development department. The sources of the IGR are surveys fees, CFO, consent fees, registration fees, the uh, title processing fees, building plan permit fees, and others. While the sum of 6.6 billion, which includes that of urban and regional development department, was generated as withholding tax and value-added tax and these are direct deduction from the uh, contract sums and paid to FRAs as detailed below. 2019 budget performance. Uh, before I talk on the budget performance, I want to clarify a little thing here. You know the budget was approved uh, in May. 2019. In June. Okay. So uh, you see, uh, in June 2019. So we have only uh, started getting uh, releases in uh, I think September. 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 So uh, this by no means uh, covers the whole uh, cycle year of the budget. This is just a performance for a uh, few months. Of, uh, uh, so I just want to put that across so that uh, one may reflect on it. On the 2019 budget performance, the Urban and Regional Development Department received the sum of uh, 562.3 uh, uh, billion, uh, million, which represents 23.7% of the appropriated amount in the 2019 Appropriation Act. The amount released was utilized to pay outstanding certificates for uh, contractors for various projects executed under the urban, uh, urban renewal and slum upgrading program, preparation of physical development plans, conduct of resilience and sustainability studies for urban centers, commemoration of world habitat and city days. The detail uh, 20, okay, this is 2019. Uh, uh, do I finish the 2020 before? Uh, let's I, go, let's, let's, 
Okay. I want to also mention uh, we have detected some problems in the in the tables where uh, yeah uh -huh. so we we want to correct this table and return back the table but that does not mean we, we cannot pay in that and well um like page one wow. yeah then in fact uh, if you may allow us we want to submit this table we apologize seriously on uh, the discrepancy i think we better uh, correct this table and bring it back we are just detecting some issues on it so yes we don't discuss the table pardon you discuss it or we don't want to discuss it well we can discuss the ideas behind this table the, and we will not discuss the figures the figures we can we can discuss the figures and we can discuss the general principle aha uh -huh. yes but the, you see principle. let me draw your attention to uh, on page 1 yeah. the the seventh column, the releases, uh, then and the payments made. So it's like uh, all the releases have been paid. Releases have been so. This is where we are questioning the uh, this presentation. We want to return back. I really, really apologize for this. It's a mistake. So, okay. Yes. No, no, uh, Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you have told us about some discrepancies discovered on some pages of the document. The fact still remains that if we want to discuss the issue, we have to discuss based on principle and not the figure, because it has corrected that already and has asked us that we bring the correct copy of the figure. So please. Well, we have uh, I move. Uh, <laughs> to go into this discourse without raising figures. If we are not going into 2019, we will know that we are not going into the discussion of 2019. Because look, for example, where we have um, the capital release, 562 million in 2019 and it was used to pay contractors for ongoing projects and if you look at that page one my question my, my question would have been my question would have been okay what are those I mean projects how much did they you know, uh, how, what, how much did they award the contracts when they were awarded? We need to know. But here we have Hongwei, Hongwei, and this one will go into 2020 as well. Because I have studied the document, unless uh, we are saying, okay, because there was uh, no, I mean, nothing much released in 2019 with for all 2019. Yes. To suspend 2019 uh, performance. And probably, if you permit, sir, maybe we can consider 2020. Then we now agree on a date for 2019. No, because there is no way if you want to consider 2019 without making uh, reference to certain things, to figures. I have a lot of questions to raise, but since Honorable Minister said that he will represent, let us allow him to represent. Thank you. Because when the, when the minister says we should give them time, but we should tell them what we really need them, like what time my Honorable Brother has said. We, we are not, when you look at the performance table, it's not following the MTEF uh, 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 principles. The purpose of MTEF is for us to have a three years running something. That will be first year. This is, when, when they are presenting the table, the table should be in this form. The actual contract sum of that project. Then the next one will be the releases. 
the first year release, the second year release, we want to know the balance. Because if, if, if you say it's ongoing, then what do you mean by ongoing? What that simply means that we are, we are expending some money on that particular project. And we still need to spend more. We want to know what we have spent and how much was the contract so <coughs> for us to know the balance. That's how they should present it. Therefore, me and the support of him going back to They should come back in the proper form. Yes. You can see this I don't know why we want to suspend the discussion for 2019 and then jump into 2020. <laughs> they only place the Honorable Minister question that wasn't correct is the capital release and capital disbursement, which he said is an error, and they are going to furnish us with the information later. But that doesn't stop us from discussing the budget. Let us see. I know that the, with, uh, just to buttress what my colleague have just said, the budget performance system, that is the percentage of the performance, is not here. It didn't follow the the, the sequence. But there, the templates are there. there. But there, we need to continue because we don't have time. And we are almost there. Next week is the deadline. We have much time. Yes. We are partners in progress. Yes. And we have symbiotic relationship. Wherever we think, necessary for us to address. Mm -hmm. We can address it and submit it. Yes. That is it. Okay. And we will address we will address it, submit it to us. So we are not suspending the consideration of 2019 budget. Mm -hmm. Thank you Mr. Chairman. Uh, the only uh, we got and give at the same time. So that's what we want to do. Alright, but in the view this uh okay. Putting all the pieces stated on the table here, only the payments. You know, when you get released, you pay for taxes. So the pieces are okay. You mentioned it earlier. It's not only the payment. If you go into it, we have discussed so many numbers. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. uh, it's not only the payment. Alongside the industries from the correct opportunity. Uh -huh. uh, the well, we have discussed so many number of things. We do need to apologize for this. So I have a question. Okay. Yes. Oh, you did? Yes. Uh, Honorable Minister, from uh, 2019, do you, did you get any other intervention from any other source? Intervention maybe from the presidency? No. No. Okay. I know that, including the, uh, the department, Yes. About what is the amount of money given to the party from the from the idea? Well, uh, you can see, of course, if uh, when we are returning back, we extract, we extract the, the part that belongs to the under the present. You know, you can we you cannot isolate the department from the main yeah. department. But in this case, uh, it's been isolated out. So definitely. We are bound to get all these uh, uh, issues here and there. But now that we are here and uh, we are uh, detecting these issues together, uh, which I believe is a collective responsibility, uh, we have argued, we we'll go back and uh, we we'll put our heads together and uh, turn back the correct information for you. And we will have to present it. Apart from the we should be able to, we should be able to uh, disaggregate. Ahead for the Yes, we do that. is proposed for the Urban and Regional Department as detailed in Annex 7. The 2020 budget proposal for the department has been premise mainly on the need to complete all ongoing projects as directed by budget office due to paucity of funds. The overhead cost proposal for the housing sector, which includes urban and regional uh, development uh, department in 2020 is 118,881,182,99 uh, COVO. 2020 personnel cost proposal for the housing sector, which includes 
urban and regional <coughs> development department in 2020 is 4,418,829,836. Naira. You can see from this table. Uh, prioritization of projects in 2020 uh, 20 budget. Uh, the basis of the 2020 budget will be anchored on the following priority areas. One, completion of urban renewal and slope upgrading program in various locations in the 36 states of the Federation and FCT in order to improve the living conditions of the people in the beneficiary uh, community. Complete two, completion of ongoing preparation of National Physical Development Plan with the preparation of strategic regional development plans for the geopolitical zones and physical development plans for some urban centers so as to promote integrated national development, improve economic efficiency and competitiveness, and enhance environmental sustainability. Three, implementation of the new town program to provide balanced and self-sustaining communities that will help decant existing population from overcrowded urban districts and tackle the spate of urbanization and population growth. Four, conduct, conduct of cities, strength, stroke, resilience, and sustainability study in selected locations to mitigate the vagaries of climate change. Uh, five, completion of the review of the National Urban Development Policy, which was prepared in, 2020, in 2012 in line with urban, uh, a new urban agenda challenges and prospects. The major factor militating against the timely completion of projects by the urban and regional development department is the insufficient budgetary uh, provision for projects to sustain annual cash flow requirement level. Thank you. If you look at the budget, first of us move that we should adopt this for discussion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Dear colleagues, I move that we adopt the proposal for 2020 for discussion. I so Who second? I second. Mr. Chairman, dear colleagues, Honorable Minister, my question is this. The total budget is not Asking for it. Okay. Yeah. The total proposal for Honorable Minister is, is possible for you to delegate for somebody to speak. To answer where you think, I mean to answer, where you think it's not clear enough. Yes. You are proposing 1.98 billion for urban and regional development. We we'll want to know. Out of this proposal, how much is for outstanding? I mean, payment of contractors, as far I mean, as regards as all these liabilities. Uh, yes, for outstanding liability. Because I could say that from your Sorry. page two, starting from page one, an extra seven. Ongoing, 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 you have only three new projects. And if you look at those ongoing projects, I'm sure there is no mention of any slum area in Kushope here. Or Surul Eri. Or Surul Eri. Even my Koko, I'm not sure. Yeah, check that Oh, you'll be. So, you'll be or other states. So, it is. Those uh, projects that you started with in uh, 2018 that you are still carrying on to 2020. So we want to know why and how much you are. Very closely at an extra seven 
Uh, if you look at items 14, 15, 17, 19, uh, 20. Wait now. He's taking notes. Uh, sorry. Okay. 14, yes. 14, 15, yes. 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. Okay. All these items are overhead items. They are not supported. Yeah, they are, just take notes. Uh, they are, they are overhead notes. items. Now, in the budget, in your, in the budget that you just presented, there is the one point nine eight one proposed here. You are reflecting it as all capital, according to your presentation. But that is not the real picture, because under overhead and personnel costs, since it is for the entire houses, it means that there are some components added, added to this. So, and I let him answer those questions. Thank you. Uh, for your various uh, concerns. Uh, oh, sorry, sir. Thank you. Sorry, sir. Uh, on that level, if you look at it, Sorry. Other level, table four. Oh, sorry. Table four. If you look at table four, the revenue is later September. So, technically, we have components of 2018 in your revenue that you captured. And the whole of overhead is all under 2018. Answer those questions from the first one. I don't know. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Um, the honor we propose in our 2020 to uh, allocate money to finish the ongoing project. How much is it? And uh, uh, which one are for the uh, new projects? I, even though I'm not alone here, I'm together with the PAMSEC and I want to draw one significant uh, light on this issue. You know, in, it's not our wish that we have, we, if you look back at 2019, we got more than this. And that one also is not what we, uh, we wish to have. So here we have constraint of the uh, ceiling that was given to the whole ministry. So it is out of that ceiling that we were able to apportion uh, uh, some money here. And I want we have just uh, received uh, one release which we hope to get more before the end of 2019, which will push this ongoing uh, project. And those that were unable to complete them uh, will definitely move with them to 2020. And uh, that's how uh, we'll continue to do. But most of them, I believe, if we're able to get, finish them off in 2019. So, uh, but I will call on the, the director, uh, Urban Original Planning, to tell us more on the revenue uh, aspect that was asked by uh, honorable member from uh, Lagos. Thank you, honorable Mr. Uh, thank you, honorable chairman. Revenue, just like the honorable minister said, is part of the revenue that was generated by the ministry. The URD has not been distinguished as from part of the one from that of the whole ministry, the housing sector. So, we don't have the figure here, but just like the honorable members have appealed, please let us go back and go and collect the... Uh, director, yes. you have the figure for expense of the main ministry here. Yeah. If you have the figure for revenue, if you have the figure for expenditure, there are more to figure for revenue. There are no two way about that. Because we are not discussing the issue of expenditure alone. Okay. We are discussing the truth there. But the purpose of this committee is 
very, very important. And we should also all do it out to go for revenue to balance whatever it is and whatever it is. Okay, so if you have been doing that before, you cannot continue to do that now. Okay, so because of this purpose of this college. Okay, so very important. Okay, it's not a shock. Now, now, for the overhead that you have stated, yes, it's true. Most of these, uh, most of these, uh, some of these uh, items are overhead costs. They are, they are, over, they are, they are overhead. And uh, but for the capital, most of them have been proposed. They are just being proposed. But we said ongoing because all urban renewal is an ongoing project for all the. Uh, places that we are working about. So that's why you said oh, it's not as if they have been awarded. They have not been awarded. They are just being proposed. But it's because under that item, the not been awarded. Okay. 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 Wrong I guess that is not Look, some of them, this one that they pointed you see that those things are not even capital. Exactly. You are changing yourself. Honestly. Because you are subsuming in, in, in the ministry. If you are calling this capital, then you will not be able to get things from your overhead uh, 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 part of the ministry. Yes. Yeah, exactly. In this committee, yeah. we have number of yeah. honorable is there. Mm. Why is there? Yeah. Yeah. There are so many number of constituency yeah. buyers. We have so many. Yeah. We don't have anything. If you put this one under capital, that means you have so changed yourself. Okay, it's not the issue is under barrier, my That's not what you are saying. We are being constrained with limited We are not put all room back. What we normally mean is do pilot scheme, which of the group will excuse me, for the states to copy. But if you have more funds, fine, we will be able to go and do more with it. You know one thing, you know one thing, you know one thing. It's because we are used to the usual, our usual system. If we have come to this call issue before this budget, mm -hmm. there are so many areas we are committee members will have assisted you. In capital. Various consequences. Slump, slump, slump everywhere. It's under a bar in You might not know yet, but I know you have known that there's a bill now in the house being sponsored by me on Urban Renewal Commission Act. We must have that in place. If we don't have it, we'll be running into limbo. So by the case of 2021, we must discuss issues and make sure we meet with minister, the two of them. This is our budget, this is that. By the time you get there to defend it at the budget, you'll be able to tell them that this is what you are bringing to the house, because of other members. We will make sure we have resolution to that event and send it down as part of our own decision in the House of Reps. That is the only way we can help. No man here, no honorable member will tell you that he doesn't have any problem when you come to our problem. No honorable here. And our development is beyond what you are talking about. You can provide jetty in various states, transportation in various states. That's what we call bank development. It's not restricted. You can provide water in various states. And that's Minister of Works and now see, when you say works, it entails so many number of things. We have to address that. And I will make sure I talk to the to commission, I mean minister, so that we discuss issues together and resolve this. Uh, thank you. Do you have more to say? Do we have to take more questions here? Exactly. And um, we know your problems. You don't know. You may not know on your own care. Yeah. Yeah. What if you place in a particular area? So this point is very important. Please take it home and then try and see how we can reconcile. This is the process. Very, very important. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You see, uh, the 2020 budget is prioritizing ongoing projects, which are ongoing, most of them. And uh, in the, in the, the urban centers, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Not ongoing. 
You see, well, uh, when, when, we, when we talk of uh, ongoing in this kind of technical uh, department, uh, okay. sometimes you is not out there for the public to see yet. It is ongoing on paperwork, preparations for a certain project. Uh, and, it, and there are releases on that. You know, you in, they have a lot of paperwork in the preparations. I was also confused when we were talking with the uh, Surveyor General when he was presenting budget in the in the ministry when we were in the stage of preparations. I, I, uh, Pamsek and their witness, he, I, I questioned him, why are you putting some things ongoing? And there are a 2020 budget and they are ongoing. So he gave me clarification on that. So you see, some of these things, I think if we had come earlier to have what we call this kind of uh, interactive session. We will have eye on all these gray areas with you. But we were, weren't invited. In other committees, they invited us for interactive session. And when we come for the uh, budget, it was very smooth because we have eye on all the, the gray areas. But it is not late now. And uh, we thank God that you are identifying these things. It is even better now that 2020 is prioritization of ongoing projects all over, not only on the urban and regional planning section. And I want to remind you that we are just beginning. We are going into 2020. We have, if we are alive, we have 2021. So what you are suggesting now is a very good suggestion. We'll come back to you. We'll sit down and identify, because we need each other. And we know that you are the one that the locals. You know, and we also want to be seeing you around us here in Abuja. So definitely, we must put heads together and send so send a project. And the slums are where people live. I visited one uh, one town where the government uh, didn't return. He only did one tenor. And when I went to the town, I went round. I, I knew the town when I was young. I followed some areas, some slums. Slums. In fact, uh, he did not touch those areas. Mm. Then I was telling my friend, then how can he win that election when he has not touched this area? Because they are the people that set up this community, that town. All these areas he has touched are people that migrated, urbanization brought and settled down. And I said he, he he was one of the settlers. That's why maybe he touched those areas. So we know how they are this project to cooperate with you and uh, look ahead for the next uh, 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 2021, then we will prepare very well. But that does not mean even in the 2020 budget, we will still not do some palliative with you and us. The budget is with you now and uh, I believe you and the leadership are looking at a lot of areas where uh, you can uh, make amends uh, uh, together this with you. So uh, I don't think it is too late. It is rather better than uh, uh, when we don't even talk about it. So uh, thank you very much. I would like my permanent secretary to throw more light on some of the issues also. Yeah, that you are, yeah, yes, please. It's my pleasure to with the kind permission of my minister to shed a little bit of a light on the concept of ongoing and new projects. As he said, in the course of the preparation of the budget, we received a clear instruction from the President that in 2020, the emphasis must be on ongoing projects. Now, urban slum upgrade as a concept. And we just thought um, we can't abandon it. We have done some under 2018, we have done some under 2017. Uh, now in 2020, we have been told that no new projects. So we just needed to be creative about it and insisted with the Budget Office of Federation that although these projects are, but as a program, they are not new. 
because it's a program that we are doing that will cut across. It's just like you, you are doing a road, you have done section one and you do section two. So th that is where the concept of this ongoing came about. Um, the, as the chairman of Ministerial Tenders Board, and as the person who actually prepares uh, fake memos, or dead fake memos, I can assure you that all these projects are necessary procurement processes. So they are not as if they have been awarded and uh, payments have been made and so on. They are ongoing in the fact that the program itself is ongoing. And we are taking them bits by bits and bits and bits. So that's why we classified. And the budget office and federal Ministry of finance agreed with this idea that we can, yes, we can, although they are new projects, but we, we can continue to classify them as ongoing since it is a program. Now, um, the issue of consultancy identified uh, serial number 13, preparation of strategic aha, uh -huh, down to, I think, 20 something. And uh, he said that appropriately we should classify that as overhead cost. From the face of it, yes. But again, circumstances dictated that we have to classify them as capital. Government is being very, very strict about overhead. Last year, 15 million was overhead. And we go clear directed that we are not adding one combo over and above our overhead cost. Secondly, if we classify these projects as uh, overhead, they are consultancy projects. If we come to award them, we will have problem. The law you pass the Public Procurement Act has, and the subsidiary laws governing or regulations governing Public Procurement Act made very clear that consultancy is a contract, which will be difficult to do under overhead. So since those who give the money have agreed with us and say that, well, because of these peculiar circumstances, and all of these projects you can see are consultancy projects which have to be procured through the normal procurement processes of advert, tendering, evaluation, some will even go to BPP. So um, we felt that we should argue and continue to uh, capital projects. And since the budget office have agreed with us, that's why we decided to go ahead. Yes, because if we move them to overhead, there is no way they could be admitted. And that was an enough. And yes, 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 sir. Um, because uh, as you know, sir, the 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 the, the, the focus of the government is to make sure that we raise uh, capital expenditure as much as possible. Right now, we are running 75, 25. Sometimes, aha. Uh -huh. So as much as possible, the government would have wished that maybe. We this is aha. Uh -huh. So if we continue to taking our uh, uh, overloading overhead costs, so it will give a lopsided picture of the ratio between capital and the overhead. So that's the discussion we had with the budget office, and they agreed to allow it as uh, capital. So I thought uh, these are the uh, and I want to add to the apology offered by by my minister. Um, there was a clear in the disbursements, which just came to light. We have made the corrections, but somehow, when they, they, they are doing it, they just repeated the total amount released as the total amount disbursed. So I, as a county officer, take personal responsibility for this error. Um, it, was, it was the accounts people who did the arithmetic clearly did some cut and paste, and which the figures do not tally. So that's why we say we we'll go back, look at our books, and we will now get Telling you that I assure you. Thank you. Yes. Also, Minister, let's go to uh, an issue two. The one with the central mm -hmm. I can three and four. The same amount of prospectus. Thirty million extra and four million extra and one. For different purposes. That's number one question. The ERGP code is not correct. You marry it with what we have in the budget appropriation bill submitted to this house. The ERGP code 271 is not correct. 
how do we reconcile that to one? Three and four. If the code is correct and the description are okay, they are, um, I'm concerned with the amount I'm seeing there, 74.16. We have an item to 2019 for buses two, and this time around we have four. I hope I, 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 one would have expected that the amount of money will be put for 2020 for four, three lots, and uh, one I have will be much higher. Take note of that too. Seven. Item one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The amount given to Russia is different from the amount in the appropriation bill itself. One, two, three, four, five. The amount given to us is quite different from. I hope you are taking note of those things. Let's move down to item 15 and 17. 15, 17, 20. The ER, ERGB is quoted. The description is there. There no amount is there at all in those three areas. Why? Item 31, the amount you quoted is different from what we have in our provision. Which are my questions. Apologize. Uh, this is an addendum. Uh, we are very, very sorry. Uh, we are going to collect everything on this table. As you permitted earlier, I want you to include these ones what we are going to correct. But before, uh, let me just talk on the, the last one you mentioned. Okay. Uh, the last item. The last item. That is uh, uh, the 15. The minister is a politician. <laughs> uh, what was supposed to be on um, 15, 17, 20. Yeah. That's on 17, 14. 29. What is supposed to be on the on 14 okay. was 45 uh, million, 45.2, okay. and uh, on 15 it is supposed to be 26.008. Yeah. But at the I think the budget office summed them up. And that gives the if, different, different uh, So if you add them up, it will give you 71209. Uh, that is 14 and 15. So they deleted 15 and summed them up uh, to 14. That's what they did there. The same thing applies to uh, 20 and 21. They that, that means we can also sum up something here. <laughs> so now we are here to clarify. Uh, uh, 26 and 27. They summed them up and put it on 20. Uh, six, because the initial figure on 26 uh, is 29.4, 27 is 45.189. So if you add them up, it will give you 74 uh, plus uh, 28 and 29. So, but we are going to uh, correct all these things as uh, we earlier said and uh, bring it back uh, at the appropriate time. Tomorrow, as uh, my panse correctly said, with very, very uh, deep apology. We have identified some uh, misrepresentation or some errors. Um, which you promised to rectify. I think as women we should be able to 
agree to this. And the chairman can give it time when to try. We want it to ensure that we thoroughly look at this, address it, and move to the next next level. In the interest of the, the nation. Of the nation. Yes. Thank you. Budget of the department number 12. Yes, item 12. ERGP. Which annex? Which of the annex? Annex 7. ERGP 2714077. Provision of infrastructure, road, drains, electricity in the new town in the FCT. There should be a proper designation. This, this appears to be paid. For example, now we can push this to the appropriation committee and are recommended, and it can be dropped. There is no proper designation. And maybe should that take us to the need for you to provide or to come along with the details of the location. Number 10. Item 10. Yeah. And all those urban renewal and upgrading uh, projects that's captured in 2020 budget. So that we can be able to assess how far you have gone with the preparatory um, work on this project. I believe some may require consultancy coming up with a bill that may guide the procurement. More details on this, uh, um, this item. Mr. Chair will, will rule what, what, what to be done so that we can make progress as suggested by my senior colleague here that we should move to the next level. Thank you very much. <laughs> One sentence. Uh, what it does uh, is that when you are able to provide that facility outside the urban settlement and uh, people have been moved to those areas. That is what we call new town. For instance, Abuja here uh, is a pilot. We have identified a land, Kasana, uh, Kasana. so now we provide those facilities similar to ones that we provide uh, the slope upgrading, uh, uh, like a site and a service, so that we we'll encourage people to move and to congest the inner town. That is what is called new town. Is that is the, that's the name of the, the, the project? So describe it more, so that uh, we we'll describe it. Uh, better so that you will understand that one uh, better. And uh, regarding the the other one that uh, item ten, item ten, uh, urban renewal and slope upgrading. Uh, some towns uh, mentioned here, where I I believe there are ongoing projects there. Yeah? Some are ongoing, some are ongoing. Uh -huh. Some are mm -hmm. continue with the ongoing and finish up. Uh, you, uh, and, and start new ones, just like uh, what uh, the permanent secretary mentioned earlier. But we will make more detailed explanation on this ones in our uh, submission, our final submission, inshallah. Okay. Uh, I think I have a question. Do you think we are saying here? Yes. 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 Yes